Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to make yummy vegan cupcakes, and I'm going to make them two ways. The first is a chocolatey and fudgy cupcake. The other one uses the same recipe, but with a couple extra ingredients, we'll turn them into a spicy Mexican cupcake. Doesn't that sound good? Are you excited? Let's learn what ingredients and tools you will need. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a mixer with the beater attachments, a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, toothpicks, cupcake pans, cupcake shells, a sifter, a knife, rubber spatula, mixing spoon, offset spatula, another spatula, a couple of mixing bowls, measuring cups and measuring spoons, and a nice thick pot. The ingredients that you will need to make the cupcakes are two cups of all-purpose flour, and this can be bleached or unbleached. I'm using unbleached. Four tablespoons of cornstarch, two-thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one and one-half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one-half teaspoon of sea salt, two cups plain unsweetened soy or rice milk or whatever milk you want to use. This is soy, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two sticks or eight ounces of your favorite vegan margarine. This is Earth Balance. That's at room temperature and you want it to be soft. You don't want it to be hard. One or three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of white sugar or regular sugar. Um, you'll need two ounces of mini vegan chocolate chips at room temperature. And you also need some more mini vegan chocolate chips to garnish the cup cupcakes with. You also need one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper or to taste and one quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika or to taste. The ingredients that you will need for the frosting is, and you're going to double this, this is for each batch. One half cup of Earth Balance that's been cubed, four ounces of unsweetened chocolate that's been chopped, three and three quarters cup of confectioners or powdered sugar, one half cup of unsweetened soy or rice milk or milk of your choice. You'll also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now also for the Mexican cupcakes that we've made, I am ad adding one teaspoon total of cinnamon and I'm actually using Saigon and Ceylon uh, cinnamon and also one quarter teaspoon of coffee and also one third cup of Daya's cream cheese. Now that our oven is preheating, first thing you want to do is put your apple cider vinegar in your milk and we're going to go ahead and set this aside. Next what we will do is sift our dry ingredients together and that again is two cups of flour four tablespoons of cornstarch two-thirds cup of cocoa powder one and a half teaspoons of baking soda one teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of sea salt. Now we will very carefully sift these together. Now that we have all of our dry ingredients sifted, what we'll do is go ahead and add our wet and that is the two cups of milk and vinegar mixture. And don't worry if it's showing if it's lumpy or curdled. That's what the vinegar does. It kind of turns into like a buttermilk. The one tablespoon of vanilla extract. The 
two sticks of earth balance, oops, the three quarters of a cup of white sugar, and the three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And now that we have all of our ingredients in here, what we'll do is very gently mix this together, and we want to mix it until it just becomes mixed. Okay, the mixture is just mixed. It is going to be slightly lumpy. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll take about half of the mixture, and we'll put it in another bowl here. Now that we have the mixture separated, in one batch you'll put in the chocolate chips, and in the other batch you'll put in the hot pepper and the paprika. Now we'll give this a good stir. Stir in the chocolate chip mixture first. Now that we have these mixtures done, we're going to go ahead and put them in the cupcake pans. Alright, next thing we need to do is go ahead and line our cupcake pans with the cupcake paper. Now that we have them lined, we'll go ahead and fill our cupcake pans. And you want to fill them about two-thirds of the way full, which is approximately a quarter cup. Okay, we have one done. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Same thing. Okay, the cupcakes are now filled. I've marked the spicy ones with a Sharpie. Now what I'll do is put these in the oven. You'll bake them at 400 degrees for five minutes. Turn the oven down to 325 and then bake them for an additional 10 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. There is our buzzer. Let's go ahead and check to see if they're done. Toothpick came out clean, so they are ready to come out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and let these cool completely before frosting them. So I will see you when the um, cupcakes have cooled completely. Now we're going to go ahead and start making the frosting. First thing you want to do is go ahead and melt your butter and your chocolate together. You want to put this in a nice heavy pan under low heat. And we're going to let this melt and come together and then once it's melted we'll go to the next step. This is going to be the same procedure for both batches. Our chocolate and butter have melted, so our next step is going to let this cool for five minutes. And while this is cooling, we'll go ahead and finish our frosting. All right, to finish the frosting, go ahead and add your three and three quarters cup of powdered sugar your half cup of unsweetened vegan milk and your two teaspoons 
of vanilla extract. Now, very carefully, start at a low speed and get this mixed together. The base of our frosting now looks pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and add our chocolate and butter mixture. And again, this is four ounces of unsweetened cocoa. And one half cup of earth balance that's been melted together. Next we'll go ahead and blend these together. Here's what our frosting is going to look like when it's done. And we're going to go ahead and set this aside and let it cool down some more and begin our other frosting. For the Mexican cupcakes, you want to follow the same procedure as before, except this time what you're going to do is you're going to add the one teaspoon of cinnamon and the one half teaspoon of coffee and again this is a half a tea or a quarter teaspoon of coffee and again this is half a teaspoon of Ceylon and half a teaspoon of Saigon cinnamons and you can exchange one or the, one for the other if you want this just kind of adds a more depth of flavor when you do that and you also want to add one third cup of Day is cream cheese, and I like that cream cheese because it gives it more of a tangy flavor than the other brands that are out there. We'll go ahead and get this mixed and get this frosting done as well. We've got our frosting made, we've got our cupcakes made and cooled. Now it's time to frost them. And this is just the easy part. Just take some batter, put some frosting on it, give it a nice decoration if you want. Just like that. Now for the ones that have the um, chocolate chips in them that are just the regular ones we can distinguish them by adding some chocolate chips on top and that way you'll know which ones are the hot ones and which ones are the fudgy ones and you'll do the same procedure with all of the cupcakes including the Mexican ones except don't put the chocolate chips on those ones Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see if I can. There we go. Now you can watch me work. Just like that. And what I suggest doing is giving these some time to set up and that way the frosting isn't so runny when you actually serve them. Refrigerate them first or just let them set until the frosting is completely cool. Our cupcakes are nice and frosted. Here's our nice yummy fudgy chocolate cupcakes and these are our spicy Mexican uh, chocolate cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed these super yummy and moist cupcakes. These will be a hit with non-vegans and vegans alike. I personally love chocolate and I love the play of flavors of chocolate with the heat and the cinnamon and I hope that you do as well. 
If you make these, please let me know in the comments at thefatveganchef.com. You can find the recipe and more there. Please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And don't forget to tip me by donating. You can find that information at tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much and good night.